goodness gracious sakes alive welcome back today we're going to go over part three of gopro issues i have received my new gopro we're going to test it out and see how it works i received my replacement gopro in the mail on may 30th i opened it up put in a newly charged battery new memory card and I started the setup process. I was going to video the entire setup process, but my Canon camera does not take as good of video as it does photos. So um, there was some video that you could not really see the screen, so I did not put all of that in there. It's pretty self-explanatory setting up a GoPro. So I have been testing it out daily to make sure it doesn't overheat. I, I take it with me on my morning hikes with my dogs. I've tried various video settings. We also had it recording video last weekend while we went on a trip to fly our drone. I've had it on video mode for all of these videos just because that is the mode that it overheated in before. I've never had overheating issues in time-lapse mode, so I haven't even been using time-lapse mode. The ultimate test was a two-hour hike last Sunday evening after church. I made sure to pack extra batteries in my backpack so I could get continuous video while hiking. Also packed extra water for me and the dogs. So this video is some clips from that hike. I had it set up just like I did when it overheated all the times before. Auto stabilization is on and it's on 2.7K. As I stated, I have not used time lapse. I just sped this video up because I didn't want you to get bored watching my dogs navigate the trails. This is the Bay Loop Trail. Um, it's a four and a half mile trail over at Harrison Bay State Park in Tennessee. It's a pretty good trail. There are some areas where it's a little overgrown and I worry about my dogs sticking their nose in that grass and getting snake bit this time of year. So I tried to keep them on a shorter leash, but Nolan, my black and white border collie, he loves to put his nose where it doesn't belong. So the GoPro did get a little warm to the touch, but it never got hot to the touch like the previous GoPro that overheated several times did. We stopped about every 20 to 30 minutes to take a water break and the dogs were ready to dive into the lake to cool off as well as I. About an hour into our hike, the battery was starting to get low. There was a bench at this point, so I changed the battery, put in a new battery and continued videoing. Altogether, I had two hours of footage from this hike. Never had an overheating issue, did not have any problems. The videos all look great. So I have to say, so far, I'm very satisfied with the replacement GoPro. I have tested it out a lot since May 30th, and it has never overheated or given me any problems. I've tried all the settings, filming over 40 minutes each time, and I've had no issues. I'm very happy about that. So my suggestion is if you're having overheating issues with your GoPro, go on the website, live chat with a tech support agent, and see what they can do to help you. I'm thankful that they stand behind their product and they sent me out a replacement for my defective GoPro. So I am very satisfied with GoPro at this time. Now, it's still early, so if I do have any issues as we use it more and more, I will post an update about it. So thanks for watching. I hope y'all have a great weekend. I'm just going to be quiet for now and let y'all enjoy the rest of the video.